Okay, so I'm going to be showing you 2D arrays in AQA pseudocode, but this is uh, take two because I started to do a single array. But I'm just going to quickly recap over how pseudocode works and how Python works. So when you're writing in pseudocode, make sure that you use the arrow for assignment. So if I'm going to say name is equal to array or number is equal to one and so on, use an underline of your less than symbol if you're going to do less than or e equal to. Uh, same with greater than or equal to. So there's the difference there. So that is Python. If you see in the exam they want you to write an algorithm, you are going for these. All right? If you see program, you go for that. So that's the difference when you get in those questions. So Python as a program, algorithm is over here. Now, what I've done first is I've assigned a 2D array here. Now, the way that it works is I've got row 0 and row 1, and I've kind of <coughs> encompassed them in one array, but there's an array within an array. That's how it works. I've got row 0 and row 1, and I've got 4, 5, 9, and I've closed that, so that's row 0, and then I've got 1, 2, 3, that is row 1. I've allocated a total to 0, and I'll explain why in a minute. Because I'm going to show you how you can go through each item in your list. So what we're going to do is we are going to do 4. And when I'm doing 2D arrays, I tend to use the word row and column. Because they help me understand the coding. All right. So we're going to say row for row in numbers. That's basically you're saying for this row, all right? So what that's going to do is it's going to go through this one first. But in order to go through your columns, this is you have another, another loop within another loop, all right? So we're going to have four column in, where, what's the end word going to be? What's the, what am I going to write there? In row. It's in row, not numbers. All right, because you, you're, you're now allocating the individual. Up. So that's row in numbers, so that's the first. You know how arrays have two numbers? Yeah, so that row would refer to the first one and the column would refer to the second one. That's the best way I can describe it. So we've got for row in numbers, which looks at that one. Now what the column does is it goes through each item in the row. Yeah, column in row. That's how I've always written it and it helps you go through. Because watch what I can do now. I can ha use my variable called total is Total plus, and to, what it will do is it will get the value that I'm currently on. So I can do plus column because it's in that value. All right. So for row in numbers, for column, that is going to get that value and add it to the total. Then I can do end for and for am I making sense it's like in Python when you're programming you can do for X in whatever it works in that as well yes so you don't need to find the size of the row or the column you just uh, no because I've said row in numbers so that's gone yeah, so that's actually found how many items are there. With pseudocode, you don't. You just say for row in numbers. That's my because I've got two rows, one two. So for row in numbers, by default, the first number is whatever row it's on. The second number is the position in that row. So that's why I went on to this one. Iterates through. 
that, then that, then that. Then, when it's finished that, that row increases. So then it goes back. And it goes that, then that, then that. All right, I'm going to show you how to go through this as a while loop as well. All right. What I would do is I will stop recording and I will show you how to do a 2D array as a while loop as well.